Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video about the new Leica M11, the newest family member of the Leica M series rangefinder cameras. Just an hour after Leica announced the new camera, I came out with my initial review of this new Leica M11 and also compared it in detail in terms of functionality with the Leica M10R. This new camera clearly deserves a bunch of follow-up videos and I want to start with the topic long exposure times and higher ISO values. Previous Leica cameras, and I showed this in various videos on my channel, like the Leica Q2 and so far all M-series cameras before the M11, have constraints on taking longer exposures and high ISO values. The M10R pushed the envelope a bit, but still is seriously constrained. In this video, I will explore that topic on the Leica M11 and show that Leica massively improved the situation. And now let's get started. Let's now have a look how the Leica M11 is behaving when it comes to shutter speed or exposure time at higher ISO values. And for doing this, let's go here into bulb mode. So if we go into the menu, we can actually on shutter speed use the slider here and can freely choose whatever shutter speed we want. Let's also go on the ISO wheel to manual. So we also have on the ISO the slider and can basically parameterize the camera. Let's explore the ISO range first. So if I choose here ISO, the lowest ISO value I can get here on the Leica M11 is 64 compared to 100 on the Leica M10R. And I've shot already night shots at an ISO of 64 and that's actually quite nice because it's super noise free and people will appreciate that. Now we can go up all the way here to 50,000 ISO, which is also the maximum value on the Leica M10R. So the range is about the same M10R from 100 ISO to 50,000, M11 from 64 to 50,000. Let's now start to explore the exposure time constraints based on ISO on the Leica M11. And as a starting point, I choose an ISO of 800 and let's see where we can slide to. So this goes up here it goes into T and bulb mode. So eight minutes is the maximum exposure time we can have if we wanna shoot at an ISO of 800. Let's now increase the ISO value. Let's go to 1600 and then you see here it automatically switched on the exposure time to four minutes and the next push to the left hand side gives me the T mode. So four minutes is what I can shoot in terms of exposure time at an ISO of 1600. Let's get ISO higher. Let's go to 3200. And then if we go here again into the shutter speed, we actually end up at 120 seconds as the maximum. What I did now, of course, I systematically went through the Leica M11 and tested out the boundary points where this is jumping at a given ISO value. And I did of course the same systematically with the Leica M10R. And I wanna show the following table now, which gives you the cross comparison of exposure time constraints in dependence on ISO value. So here's a detailed table. Every row has attached an ISO value. And then we have two main columns, one for the Leica M10R and one for the Leica M11. And this table contains all the data you likely wanna see. So first of all, Lowest ISO value for the M11 is 64. That's not applicable or not available on the Leica M10R. And then we have all the exposure range. I went here for full stop. So from 100 to 200 to 400 ISO and so on, because uh, otherwise the table would get too long. Clearly you can interpolate in between. It will look about the same just for in between values. And if we look now into a few examples, for instance, 400 ISO gives eight minutes maximum exposure time on the Leica M10R and 15 minutes maximum exposure time for the Leica M11. Or an ISO of 6400 gives a maximum exposure time on the Leica M10R of 32 seconds and on the M11 we can go as long as 60 seconds. At the extremest highest ISO value of 50,000, the Leica M10R can go to four seconds and the Leica M11 to eight seconds. And as I indicated in the intro to this video, the Leica M10R already pushed the envelope much more than on previous Leica M series cameras, but the Leica M11 clearly is now absolutely superior. And I would conclude from that table the following. 
After comparing the numbers, what we can clearly state is that Leica significantly increased the flexibility for photographers to go for a longer exposure time with a given ISO value. And we saw before, for instance, that an ISO of 3200, the Leica M10R cannot go longer on exposure time than 60 seconds, whereas here on the Leica M11, we get 120 seconds. And I can say as a practitioner, a professional photographer, this is enough flexibility I have and I will no longer complain about these constraints as I did many times before on my channel when we look at the Leica Q2 for instance or the previous rangefinder cameras. Leica found a reasonable solution and very likely these constraints on exposure time independence of ISO come from heat developing on the sensor if you bump up the ISO values. And Leica found a reasonable compromise here. Very well done Leica. I do no longer feel captured in shorter exposure times at higher ISO values as I did before and I think we found a good solution in this way. If you liked that video don't forget to drop me a thumbs up, stay tuned on my channel there's always more to come, stay safe and healthy and of course peace out.